Make sure your computer meets the minimum system requirements for installing CA Internet Security Suite version 7. Click on Start and then Control Panel. If your operating system is Windows 7 or Vista, select Small Icons in the view. If your operating system is Windows XP, select Classic View. Double click on System. Minimum service pack required 2000 with SP4 Plus, XP Home Pro with SP2 Plus, Media Center with SP2 Plus, Windows Vista Home Basic, Home Premium, Business Ultimate, SP1, SP2, Enterprise Not Included, Windows 7, all client versions, 300 MHz or higher Pentium compatible CPU for Windows 2000 XP and Media Center, 800 MHz or higher for Windows Vista, 1 GHz minimum for Windows 7 Home Server, Internet Explorer 6 or higher, IE7 for Vista Home Server, IE8 for Windows 7, Internet Access, Hard Disk Space, 600 MB, 1024, 768 or higher resolution. Go back to Control Panel Home. No other security software should be installed, such as Norton, McAfee, etc. Double click on Uninstall a Program. On Windows XP, double click on Add Remove Programs. To install, you will need to download the installation file first. Click the Download button for the project you wish to download. Note that the download button will be available for 30 days from your order date. It is recommended to save the downloaded desktop file to a CD or other external device as a backup. This will come in handy when you need to reinstall CA. You can choose to close the dialog box when the download completes. Once the download is complete, the Download Complete box will appear if you did not choose Close the Dialog box when the download completes. To start the installation, click the Run button. The installation wizard will open. If you would like to install all product components, click the Start Installation button. Click on Change Installation Settings to modify the installation settings. We can check the components from the list which needs to be installed. Check Keep My Computer Safe to install anti-malware. Check Keep My Internet Safe to install the firewall, anti-spam, and anti-phishing features. Check Keep My Files Safe to install the file backup and file migration feature. Check Keep My Kids Safe to install parental controls. Drive shows the available size on the disk where the CA is need to be installed along with the required size for the installation which helps to avoid low disk space issue during installation. Click Change if you want to change the installation location. You can also click on the question mark sign to see the help menu. You can read this help topic for more information. Click Submit to continue. We now reach the main installation window and after all of those changes are done we can start the installation with one click on Start Installation. The installation process will do a quick scan followed by installation. Once installation is complete, quick scan results will appear showing threats found on your computer. Click the Reboot Now button to immediately restart your computer. That is recommended. Otherwise, you can select Reboot Later. After your computer gets back on the desktop, the CA Alert Manager prompts you to configure your active network as home or public. Click the Home button if you connect to an intranet, or click the Public button if you have a direct connection to the intranet. Installation has been done, but CA is not yet active. To get it activated, click on Activate Now on the above screen. Click on Activate Now. Enter the activation code that you have received in the installation email. Select the option Activate using a code or license already on your computer if reinstalling the program on the same computer. Select the right activation code to use for this computer. You can also activate the product by entering your email address and password. Enter your CA nominated email address. Enter the password. Then click Next. Your CA product is now activated and ready to protect your computer. Click the Done button to close the activation window. Click on Start Quick Tour to begin the Quick Tour. Once completed, close the window. Click on View Alerts or the Fix Now button. Click on Fix Now. Click Fix Now to start the necessary actions. The update time depends on your internet connection speed. The full system scan can take hours depending on how many files are on your computer.